Good morning, this is Connor from Zero DT Traders here to present our Market Minute for July 25th, 2024. It is 11.30 and the SPX is trading higher up 4 tenths of a percent to 54.49. Although we are up a lot more than that if we measure from the trough, this is about a 1.4% swing to the upside. Um, driven primarily by volatility contraction, VIX down about 11% peak to trough. Additionally, mega caps growth holding up quite well. Uh, we have tech it was down about 2% here this morning, but has completely reversed the move, uh, leading on the upside, uh, which is most certainly bullish. Now, what is interesting here is uh, this pivot in this peak and vol once again occurred off our put wall of 5,400. So the put wall um, essentially is the strike with the highest net negative gamma and is often regarded as our lower bound and as a point where we see um, generally a strong bounce and a peak in volatility. In other words, a test of that level tends to incentivize traders to monetize puts and to sell volatility. Uh, we also saw this last Friday. Uh, the put wall at that time was 5,500. We came down there and we also saw that peak in vol. Now what we're seeing here on the chart is uh, the SPX, but overlaid on top in orange here is the VIX. Um, so you can see that peak at that 5500 handle and then obviously that that peak today off that 5400 handle now of course this doesn't work all the time and there are other variables that we look for um, that could trigger volatility sellers number one being a positive catalyst right so that essentially creates a shift in sediment a test of the put wall as we just highlighted and a reclaim of the flip uh, which is essentially the transition from negative gamma to positive gamma now let's go over to the charts and uh, let's highlight the gamma situation and see where that flip sits starting from the top the gamma index is materially negative 1.2 billion notional so we're essentially at the lower bound additionally five-day realized vol is at the upper bound um, now we're clearly seeing that peak in implied vol this morning uh, if we continue to move higher back into positive gamma territory uh, this very well could be a peak in realized vol meaning that the market may start to to stabilize for the next little while now that transition that we're looking for uh, is the flip at 5510 you can see below all strikes are negative that is destabilizing for the market price 5400 is that put wall so that's our lower bound uh, and that's essentially where we're bouncing here this morning but for the bulls to regain control they need to reclaim that flip 5510 uh, and that's where the gamma index will move back into positive territory and the market will once again uh, become stable now negative gamma is a much more challenging environment because dealers essentially have to chase deltas in order to hedge their position. So they're selling into weakness, they're buying into strength, which just exacerbates the price move, increases volatility in both directions. Now, this chart is the SPX return distribution. Uh, we have SPX change percentage on the Y axis and the gamma index on the X axis, right? So this chart here, and in the middle here, we got the zero line. This is the flip. So you can see negative gamma to the left, positive gamma to the right. And when you're in negative gamma, the wider that return distribution, right? And we're kind of sitting here. Now we don't have a lot of data points, right? Because this is a, you know, fairly extreme. We don't see this very often. Um, but the point is here, you just get more volatility the deeper the negative gamma. Conversely, when you're above that flip, you get supportive market conditions and dealers end up buying dips and selling rips, and, and that's what we refer to as the, the buy the dip regime. We are not in that regime today. Um, we're clearly seeing a nice bounce, um, but we need to look for a reclaim of that flip for the market to become stable once again. Now, if you're not a member and you're interested in learning more, you can visit our website at zerodtetraders.com. Best of luck out there today.